Hello YouTube, this is Mayun J and today the purpose of this video is to show you something very cool. This is the Elphone P8. I got this phone from epochshop.com and I'm going to be providing the link below. Now what I do like about this device is that it is an original brand from the Chinese. However, it is a clone of the Note 3, but it's not a perfect clone. It has a 1080p screen, it has 2GB of RAM, 16GB of internal memory. It has the MTK6592, which is an octa-core device. So it is definitely great and I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and open here the package. Now this package was, uh, it had an error on the shipping. So it was a little bit rerouted. So here we have this type of uh, weird bubble wrap and it is actually very, very protected and I already see a black box. So let's go ahead and open this and see what we got. All right, and here we have the box itself. Now I can say that the box is a little bit thinner than the original Note 3 box. I have it right here still. And as you can see, it's about, I would say about an inch thinner. So it makes it look very nice. And this device, once again, is made here, it says in the front, Alpha Mobiles. That's what I'm uh, suspecting that this is a logo from them. And then uh, there's this white sticker on the front of the box with some sort of barcodes. On the side here it says elamobiles.com. On the side we have nothing here and then this other side is pretty much blank. Then at the bottom I was suspecting that we at least will have these specs but we don't. But we know that it is a great device and I'm going to be providing the link below for you to check out the link and see how much it will cost. And here we have the phone itself. Now I've seen several videos around and I know that this device is going to be thinner than the actual clone. Now the only thing is that it's also a little bit bigger so you cannot fit accessories but the specs on this is very nice and I also heard that the screen is beautiful so we're going to find out that in just a second. Here just to go in the remaining of the contents of the box, we're going to go ahead and remove this. Here we see uh, a screen protector, which is great because I think the screen on this one is a little bit bigger, so I'm not sure if I can fit the uh, Note 3 uh, screen protectors. But here we also have the manuals. The manuals, they appear to be in English, and that's great for those who like to read them. Now, I never read them because I do believe it's a waste of time, but at least they're here. We also have a wall adapter. Now the wall adapter, I've been having a, kind of a bad luck lately. They're all coming in European plug adapters. Uh, luckily I have a few around the house, so I, I don't really need them. Um, but that's unfortunate for me. And uh, I would just say that if you're going to order these, make sure that you ask your seller to send you the American wall adapter if you're buying it for the USA or America. Okay? Um, here we have the micro USB and as you can see it is the standard one. We also have one battery this time and let me see how many milliamps it is. This one is uh, 20, 2800 milliamps which actually feels and weight like the Note 3 clone battery and I think this is actually going to be very accurate and also has some sort of serial number here and a production date which was December 2013 so that's very interesting. So let's put this aside for now. And then last but not least, here we have some sort of uh, earphones. I can say they feel, they feel already of uh, high quality, so I am liking that. And they do look uh, similar to a phone I unboxed. I believe it was the uh, Q1, if I'm not mistaken. They had the same type of uh, earphones, so that's great. And then inside the box, we have nothing else. So let's get back here to the device. And this phone is going to have a 5.7 multi-touch front screen, which is a, a 1080p. And on the side here, we have the power button. On the very top, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the side, we have the volume rockers up and down. And then at the very bottom, we have this time a uh, standard micro USB data port. And then here we have the microphone. All right, there's nothing else. And then in the back, here we have a dedicated 13 megapixel camera with the LED flash. Here we have the L phone logo. And then at the bottom here we have what appears to be the uh, loudspeaker. Now this phone is also a dual SIM, dual standby device. And I'm going to open the back here just to show you that in fact it is. And I can tell also that it is a little bit tight. So there we go. And then here we have uh, the dual SIM, dual standby. We also can fit uh, TF cards if you need them. Here we have the IMEI numbers for it. And then here we have the loudspeaker. So we're going to go ahead and uh, install the battery and see if it has any juice. Also, this device is running the Android 
jelly bean. So let's go ahead and start it up and see if it comes on. And yes, it did. All right, and so far I can say that on viewing angles, it has a uh, great resolution. I like that a lot. Here we have the clone. And as you guys can see, uh, it is a little bit smaller and a little bit uh, the the L phone is a little bit thinner. So I like thin phones, so it kind of feels great. And then here we have the, uh, the operating system. This is pretty much going to be uh, the standard Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Let's go here to where it says settings and let's find out if it is Android 4.2.2. And yes, in fact, it is Android 4.2.2. Now, what I also like so far is that when the display is off, the phone matches perfectly well with the remaining of the bezel. That's also something I like and it feels of uh, high quality. However, it is a little bit lighter than the actual clone. The clone feels a little bit heavier. So here at the bottom, you have the home button, you have the menu button and the back button. At the very top, you have a five megapixel front facing camera. You have here the uh, ear speaker. Now I'm not sure if it has the air gestures or not. I will have to test it and confirm that on the review video. But so far, I can say that it is a pretty nice device and it looks actually very fast. Uh, of course, we know that it has the MTK6592, so it is going to be fast. And um, again, for the price, I think it's a great phone. Uh, also, the, uh, the clone that I got from um, iBaby888 is also very high quality. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm going to go on the review very soon. So please stay tuned, subscribe for more, like my videos, comment below. Thanks for watching and have a good one.